Hey everyone, welcome to Outdoor Inspirations. You know, this channel is dedicated to outdoor lighting and landscaping industry, and we hope we can inspire you for your next outdoor project. This video is sponsored by Garden Light LED. So when it comes to outdoor lighting fixtures, the scene is changing. Fixtures are getting smaller, more efficient, more reliable. And you know, lighting designers are choosing solution-based fixtures now to, to provide a solution, provide long-term durability, and provide happier clients in the long run. In this video, we're gonna show you a new integrated lighting fixture from Garden Light LED, and it's called the Predator Series. What the? Hey everybody, I'm back, whoo! All right, Predator Series has three distinct models to choose from. You have the Eagle Eye, Hawkeye, and Falcon Eye. This is a UL listed product, and it has one uh, LED engine in it. With a, It's potted, and it has a driver that's built into the body. Now, let's go over the finishes. All right, everyone, let's look at this. We've got two distinct and very durable finishes to choose from. First, you have a 6061 anodized stainless aluminum. Very lightweight, very durable. Can be very modern in your scenes where you place these. Next, we have a C360 raw brass. And this is what's called the living finish. So it can patina over time. And if you don't want it to patina, you can apply a product to uh, protect that finish. But both finishes are very durable and uh, can marry well with a lot of different scenarios uh, and, and applications. Now let's talk about watts. So the watts um, you're getting from these are two watts, only two watts, which is, it's, 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 well, this watt is very low, only two watts. And per, put that in a little bit of perspective, back in the day, only about 10 years ago, we used halogen and outdoor lighting. And to get the same output, we'd have to use 15, 20, 25, even 30 watts to get the same output we can get now from a two watt LED. This is a single source, single diode LED system. So only one engine. Uh, driver is built into the housing. So very cool. All right, next let's talk about lumen and output. You know, the Eagle's gonna give you 90 lumens and the Falcon's gonna give you about 110 lumens. And then you have the Hawk, which is a little bit more, gives you 140 lumens. So you can see, even though they're all two watts, they're giving you a little bit more lumen output. And that's what we count on and design upon is the actual lumen output of that particular fixture because that's has a lot to do with where and why we place it in our designs. Next we can talk about beam angles. You know the Falcon is your tightest beam. It's going to give you a more linear look as it comes out of the fixture. Next we're going to go to the Eagle. So the Eagle Eye opens up a little bit more and gives you a little bit more ability side to side and then as we get into the Hawkeye, that one is 180, opened up 180, so that gives you a lot more ability to wash from side to side. A little bit more um, dispersed lighting than say the Falcon, which is tighter. So when you think about that, if the opening's small and you're running a tight beam, those lumens are powered, whereas you open it up, those lumens get drifted and softened. All right, let's talk about Kelvin. Not my name, Kevin. Let's talk about Kevin. No, let's talk about Kelvin. All right, Kelvin, you got a whole wide range of warm whites to choose from. Your traditional 2700, 3000, you know, that nice warm white. You can go choose a 5000 Kelvin, 
which gives you that more modern bright brightness to the light. Now you can get into the single static colors available. Amber, blue, red, royal blue, and green. So there's all kinds of you know applications for that lighting and choose that custom Kelvin color. All right, next let's talk about installation methods and applications. All right, yeah, so let's talk about some installation methods. Well, normally you're gonna be integrating these into a surface. So you're gonna need to core drill these down and that's about four inches of barrel, which happens to be about one and three eighths inch diameter. And then the top cap is about two inch reveal and so you're going to be core drilling these or your lighting contractor is going to core drill these into concrete, stone, wood, etc. And let's talk about some applications. Well, there's quite a few actually. You know, the traditional method for this is going to be your safe stepping. So down staircases, um, on the edges of a staircase wall, you're going to put these into that stucco or the concrete or the brick and that's going to illuminate the top edges of your staircase. Or you can choose to go front face plate of the staircase, so each step will have directional lighting for that safe stepping. Um, now we're getting a little bit more out of the box. You know, you can actually use these in lieu of a path light. So now these are more marking style path lights down your walkway. You can walk over these. They're not tall enough to trip on. So I wouldn't worry a whole lot about that. And if you are worried, put them to the side of the foot pattern. And then you can do boat docks, you know, boardwalks, etc., and illuminate the edges of that walking path so people know the boundary and won't step off that boundary. So an excellent application as well. Next is, you know, use your imagination. People are using these for lighting up garden art. Um, wall hung art that's on a wall. You could surface mount this below and above to get that artwork to shine. And that's just being creative. And that, that's, you know, no limits to your creative, creativeness. No limits. No limits. So be creative out there. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. And special thanks to Garden Light LED. You know, they're a modern solution for any outdoor lighting need. Call them today. We've got links in the description below. If you're a lighting designer and or specifier, you get 10% off your first order. So check them out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And we're going to see everyone in the next video.